This is Twit. So let's look at the micropayments for content concept. Uh, there's an article out there about Bitcoin saving journalism. Uh, this is in our rundown at delicious.com slash this week in law slash 278. Uh, all the things we're talking about today are in there if you want to look at, um, and there's some great content in there. I really encourage people to read the articles that we're talking about and that have sort of teed up the show today for us. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, how Bitcoin could save journalism and the arts is uh, the article at time.com. Um, so let's talk about that for a moment. And also, I guess we can fold into this discussion, the group that you're working with, Aaron, called Monograph, which is about um, creating a, re a registry that helps create scarcity for digital art. How can Bitcoin help people who write and create uh, and hope to be paid for it? Sure. So, you know, Monograph is a really interesting project that's uh, started by an NYU art professor uh, here in New York. Um, you know, he came up with an amazingly brilliant idea. Um, he, you know, he has created scarcity in a digital world um, using the blockchain. You know, the blockchain is a shared database and what it can do is it can also record and timestamp things um, and it can create worldwide property registries. So uh, using this technology, it's conceivable we could have a worldwide copyright registry, a worldwide trademark registry. Um, and one, you know, area where there's a lot of registries is the art world. You know, that's how they keep track of of art and make sure that they're getting appropriate title uh, to artwork. Um, and what Monograph does is it basically allows you to, to take a digital piece of, of art that you've made and pronounce the world and, and timestamp it uh, so that everybody knows that that is the unique first original version of the artwork um, that's been created. And, and um, you know, what uh, the people of Monograph think can be uh, generated from that is a market around that. Uh, so, you know, a lot of artists now are, are not really painting anymore. They're, you know, they're using their computers and, and making this amazing digital art. And, and they have a hard time selling that art. Um, you know, one example um, is they actually recently found all this digital art that, um, um, that Andy Warhol made. Um, and, you know, there needs to be a way... Uh, for for people to be to be able to you know mathematically verify that this is this is the original this is the absolute only copy that that matters that I that I'm uh, gaining ownership of so what Monograph is hoping to do is uh, is to create this this system that could allow artists to uh, um, you know to sell their artwork and and uh, create scarcity around something that you know probably should have a bit of scarcity to it. Wow, that's a fascinating idea. So that it sort of bundles in the whole concept of. Uh, DRM without actual DRM. Yeah, it's not or DRM. It? You know, I, no, it, there's there no, no DRM. DRM? So it's, it's just a registry. DRM. Then. Yeah, um, and, you know, and I think the idea is to wrap it around something that I was uh, talking about before, which would be you know some sort of container. Um, where um, where you could you know collect payments if if you was put on another site or or something else like that, um, you, you know, uh, but, and that's all getting kind of worked out. But the the idea is really you know digital uh, digital content is fabulous; it can spread everywhere. Uh, but you know there is some pockets where scarcity matters, and uh, you know where, where scarcity has a premium. And using a you know blockchain, you can actually um, you know begin to create a space for that and a market for that. Um, you know, but beyond just um, you know art, the idea you know maybe it's because I'm a, I've been a practicing lawyer, especially in the intellectual property space. But you know all of these intellectual property registries are highly inefficient. Um, there, you know, we're at a point where we can technically build something that looks like a global copyright registry, uh, where you could actually just drag and drop something onto a uh, blockchain, and you know everybody around the globe could do it. And you know we could say this is you know the original original work and I'm claiming ownership of it or you know this is the trademark that I want to file and I'm claiming claiming ownership of it and you know that would create a huge amounts of efficiencies and I know um, I know that you know if you even take it beyond intellectual property but to actual real property um, you could you could imagine a worldwide property exchange where it would be just as easy for people to to buy a piece of property in the US as it would be in another country I mean if, if we had a system like that the amount of efficiency that would be presented would be astronomical Right. So let's let's stay on the art metaphor for a moment. Um, I'm an artist. I've created an original, you know, I want to create a digital work that sort of mirrors what I would do in the real world. I'm going to create an original and maybe 
10 lithographs, you know, the digital equivalent of a lithograph of my right. uh, original. And so the original is going to sell for more. I'm going to have 10 that are uh, technically they're identical copies of the original because that's how digital uh, artifacts work. Uh, you make an identical copy or maybe I suppose you could slightly change each of the lithographs. But then sure. that would be that. And, and you would be able to control that um, using the blockchain without DRM, and that would be one business model. Am I getting that right? Yeah, that's, that's the, the gist of it. Yeah, you, you would record it and, um, and be able to transfer title uh, to that record so that somebody uh -huh. could, you know, wave a, you know, the equivalent of like a digital piece of paper and say, you know, no, I own the original and here's my proof that I own the original. Although, and that's why, to be clear, that's why you should pay for one. To, to be clear, I, I feel that, so if the, if the artwork is, and this is just me thinking through this, if the artwork is displayed on the screen and you can see it, um, there has to be some process that makes that visible, that like decrypts it from the blockchain and makes it visible. And it's only going to allow you to decrypt it when you are the rightful holder on the ledger. So to be clear, I, I feel like we'd still need digital rights management of a no, sort. You don't, you need to use you don't, photography to, to make that visible. What otherwise would be not visible would be a scrambled thing on the blockchain or a scrambled no, thing somewhere okay. that you decrypt using the blockchain. No, it would be just, no? you know, you can, you know, you can take every digital file is just a series of, of bits, zeros and ones, and you can create a unique hash for that, uh, for that file. And that file is, that hash is what gets registered to the blockchain. Um, right. And, but, but if it wasn't and, and, encrypted, you could copy it and send it. You could make a copy it, of the, the fourth lithograph and, and then you haven't really solved the scarcity problem because you'd have piracy still. It, yeah, there there definitely could be uh, people who make copies and you know change a bit and make it something else. But the point is, is not the, the way it would work is not that it would create some sort of um, it would just it wouldn't wrap it and make it obscured until you had rights to view it. It would just mm -hmm. allow somebody to say, um, you know, here is an original piece of artwork and this is the actual original. And if other people use it, um, you know, there's there's not yep. much you can do about it. Um, but but knowing just as a as a verifiable fact this is the original that the artist intended to be the original um mm -hmm. you know the, the 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 thesis is is that that will create value for that that item and in the art world where i think uh um you know people want to have the original um being able to prove that uh should enable you know digital artists uh, to get compensated um you know for their artwork at higher levels than they, they are today and i think that would be a very valuable thing